Oh, back at the workbench again. And I thought I'd try something different. I've got these two Hornby Rail Freight BDA bands. One's an old one, uh, the old style couplings, and one's a fairly new one with uh, updated wheels. And the couplings are a bit big, so I'm going to put these on. These are from Backman. So the best thing I did do cheat and I did this one first at this end, change the wheel, put the coupling on, and it looks much better. And it's an awful lot closer on the coupling as well. So the problem is though, I did break that bit off because it's very fragile, these old ones. But wheels have been gauged and it actually runs really well. So I shall do the other side and then for this one, I've just got to change the couplings. The wheels are okay on that one. But we shall uh, see it go on and see how we get on with this. So they are metal little fans inside on both. So what I should be doing is getting the drill out to drill it out and then uh, see how it goes and get them running and see how uh, better it will run with them on. Right, let's start taking these ones off. Try not to break the bit off first. Yeah, only same for that one. It's the only problem with these. These do break off very easily. Hopefully it should be fine. So we'll get the old wheel out. So we can get rid of that. And then I've got the uh, bearing rider from DCC Concepts. I'll just put that in. Okay, it's a bit tight. And just give that a good clear out so it makes it nice and easy for the new wheels to bind in. cleared out the insides for the new wheels and then we'll um, drill the coupling off. super glue and that will be fine. I should put a file around it just to make sure it's okay. I can't remember where I've put it. There we go. There we go. Bit of super glue in, stab it on the side. Gorilla glue is brilliant. Tamp it now. And 
there. And what I'll also do, is just fit in it in. I shall put a bit of a bit of plastic in there. Just gives it a little bit of a help. I've just taken the couplings off for this one. These are the sort of the plasticky ones. These are actually quite handy to keep as long as they're not damaged because they can be used again later on on a different projects. And I didn't break those bits off in the new one. The wheels are done after change, but we shall um, get the couplings glued on and uh, hopefully will be ready to run in no time. Should have got the other clamps ready really. We'll put that one in now. as well. All right, I've left it a good 10 minutes so I'm gonna take the clamps off and put the new wheel in this one. Short sure spins. Lovely. Before we install it, use the gauge to make sure that's engaged. Test track and get them running. Let's see how good those are going around corners. So they're on the track and with the couplings on, definitely closer and look a lot better as well. And even though the 
one on the right is a lot older than the one on the left and they still look pretty good so even the older models doesn't take a lot to actually make them up to modern standards really so anything else just running around they're perfect and just take them around the corner and uh, see the closeness of them Plenty of room. Can't go wrong. So that's another little project done. Hope this has helped anyone. And uh, like and subscribe if you like the videos. And uh, see you in the next one.